<laughs> FLC. Hey, Brian. I've listened to your show for a really long time, and I've always kind of wondered, what do you like off the air? <laughs> we, we cannot talk about that. <laughs> guy works his ass off. He's here early, he stays late. Hardly ever hear him complain about having to do something extra. A lot of times he does it without being asked. Um, he didn't ever expect anything to be handed to him. You would think that people would like kind of lose that passion, but no, he's always the first one in, last one out every day. Brian's willing to work with you. You know, it's a, we, we don't work for one another, we work in tandem. And Brian's definitely a team player, and I think that's probably one of the best qualities that you can have, is that someone who is professional at their job, good at their job, efficient at their job, and all of those things are Brian. Hands down, one of the nicest guys you will ever meet, and definitely one of the most passionate in this business. He always brings uh, the positive uh, into the conversation. Um, so sometimes, uh, you know, the industry could be very stressful, very um, nagging at times. So it's somehow he'll always find a way to uh, to perk people up. If I'm having one of those days where I'm just like, Ugh, I'm, I'm I'm done with this industry. We all go through that. I don't care what industry you're in. You have those days where you're just like, why am I doing this? I can crack up in his door and be like, dude, why am I doing this? Can you explain to me why I'm doing this again? It is a very hard industry that really beats you down, but the passion is there. It's life. I mean, there's, there's so many things in life that you reach a point where you go, do I want to keep going with this? And if you love it enough, you say yes, and you, you figure out the way to pick yourself up and keep doing it. Brian is one of the sweetest people, you know, uh, that, you'll, that you'll ever meet. Um, He's a perfectionist in everything he does, very OCD. I don't know if you've known that about him. I have to have things my way, as I'm sure anybody you speak to will tell you. I would almost argue that Brian's the one person that is beyond a perfectionist. If it's a 60 second spot and there's one thing that might even sort of be wrong, he's gonna change it. He takes pride in his work and everything has to be absolutely freaking perfect every single time. Um, he's gotta have the perfect tear on toilet paper. So that's, that's one of the, his little mild uh, employee confessions. Um, since he's very OCD, if he rips off the toilet paper and it comes off kind of jagged, nope, he's got to have the perfect tear. So he won't use it unless it's perfect. Words to describe Brian. Um, perfectionist, uh, efficient, uh, passionate, professional, uh, intelligent. Um, he's a leader. Crazy. No, there's, there's no other term that describes him better than crazy but crazy in a unique way. Brian's one of those guys. He's your best friend, too. Brian's not all business. He's a lot of fun, um, but he's a good balance of both. You know, he goes from serious production OCD guy to king of the party guy, like, flips the switch, which is pretty cool. Radio is, is a lot of fun. There's a lot of personality to it. I mean, I remember times of riding mini motorcycles through the hallways and People would walk through the building and pants each other and dead leg each other. I mean, that stuff doesn't happen now. I remember one night he actually, um, he hijacked 93.3 FLZ. He pretty much locked the studio doors. He uh, called out the boss on the radio and he started demanding blue M&Ms, a big bucket of blue M&Ms that had to be hand separated. Um, the bosses couldn't get in and all he did was play Beastie Boys fight for right for five hours straight. And he would tease, like start playing maybe a hit song and then 20 seconds later, just kidding, Beastie Boys again. <laughs> So, and that's, that's pretty much the type of personality he's always had. I remember locking myself in the studio when I didn't get the job I wanted and played the same song over and over again. I dressed in a Batman outfit that was three sizes too small and I jumped off the front of the building and it invited listeners to come out and watch and jumped onto these, those inflatable mats that you have that you tumble on and missed the mat and sprained my ankle and got put in. I mean, that's radio. Did you see his Halloween costume? He dressed up as his cat. I, I mean, he dressed up as his cat. Not a cat, his cat. You know, I think every day there is kind of a story about Brian Fink and something he's done. He's very sarcastic. If you think you're sarcastic, um, wait until you meet him because he'll always one-up you with something. There's different levels of friendship. You got, you got the friends that you hang out with, you got the friends that you just kind of chat with, and then you got the friends that you're like, dude, you gotta come get me, I'm in jail. And Brian's at that level now, so that's good. <laughs>
he's one that I look up to. He's one that many people look up to. He's moving into that part where he can give back and start to mentor some of the younger members of the staff with me. And so a lot of that perfection that only he possessed, he's now teaching others and he's spending uh, a lot of his time helping me make the staff better so that, I mean, quite honestly, so they can be more like him. You know, but beneath all of it, beneath the, you know, the crazy, um, it, the, he's got a heart, you know, and he's got good character, and that is something that you can't fake. I think the example he sets is that if you have his work ethic, and if you demand the absolute best from yourself, you're probably going to go somewhere. Maybe not everybody is the perfectionist that Brian is, but if you don't have his work ethic and his drive, you're not going to survive doing this. I mean, it, it really, beyond everything, is my passion.